Hey guys, it's Mike. Um, I want to give you all an update on how everything's going with the shop. Everything's good. Everything has been busy. I've had, you know, some big orders coming through and just been trying to stay on top of them. I haven't had time to make videos just because I've been, you know, working a lot. Um, I did want to update y'all on how it's been going with the way I've kind of restructured the business. You know, I told y'all that I wasn't going to be doing cut vinyl anymore. And then I told y'all that I was going to be doing, um, uh, you know, charging for every single setup, every individual setup that I do. I also raised my rates. So all that has been going pretty good. I'm sorry, my nose itches there. Um, it's been going really good. Um, I've had most people have been very receptive to the price changes and just said, hey, you know, it's not a big deal. Other people, there's a couple people that I lost orders to, and those are honestly the sort of people that I was trying to weed out anyways. So it's, you know, it's kind of playing out exactly the way that I wanted it to. And it's allowing me to have more time to complete the bigger orders that, that are making more money you know quicker so whenever i'm doing a big order like the one i'm doing right now i've got a 600 piece order going in the back here um whenever i have an order like that going through whenever i'm processing it i can't stop and then start doing a bunch of setups or graphic design work or, or you know anything like that so the cut vinyl is just horrible because i have to stop what i'm doing and weed it and laminate it do all the different steps there's a lot of different steps with the cut vinyl that i really don't like i always kind of underestimated and undersold those jobs so i just i quit doing them um the, one of the big things is that it was hurting my back also whenever i was leaning over to try to weed the material out it was always putting my back in a bad position to where it was hurting it and so you know i've i've changed up and with without doing that I, honestly my back's not hurting as bad anymore but whenever I would do that for a while it would put my back into a bad position and it would hurt for days afterwards so I'm just trying to not do that all these tables that I have over here they're all set up to be the perfect level for doing my laminating popping the stickers out doing all that but it's not the the ideal height for having to weed the material and I don't know that there is an ideal setup for that it's something that I just really don't like doing so Anyways, people have been real receptive to the price changes and, and just everything that I've been doing. So it hasn't actually seemed to affect me negatively. Um, I, there's only one other, I think there's only one other order that I lost that was kind of a, a semi, not really a big, it was, it was going to be a 200, um, like three and a half inch uh, die cut sticker order. I think they were three and a half inch by three inch or maybe four inch by three inch, something like that. There was gonna be 200 of them. I didn't end up getting that job because he wanted me to do something else. Um, we're kind of still talking about whether or not he's gonna proceed. So I might've lost the order, I might not have, but basically he said he wanted one vendor to be able to do everything for him. Um, so I'm trying to just work out and figure out how that's going to, you know, if there's something I can help him out with this time or not. But anyways, um, you know, really, I don't have a whole lot to tell you all this time. I just want to let you know that the changes I've made have been working out. Everything's going good so far. I did have to take a little break. I got in some big orders and then I ran out of vinyl. I kind of misjudged. I was a little low on funds for a while after taking care of some medical bills and everything. And then I ended up needing to buy, you know, some more material, but I couldn't afford to buy it in bulk. So I just ordered the bare minimum and then I had to order the bare minimum again. And then now I just placed a big order again for some bulk supply so that I won't run out for a long time. So that always feels good to not, to, you know, not have to worry about running out of the material, uh, you know, especially in the middle of some sort of a big job. So um, I've got... The 600 piece sticker order that I'm finishing up right now, I've got a an order for, I, I don't know, 350, 400 stickers, something like that, um, that's going to be getting shipped out tomorrow. And I needed just, uh, I was really like one sheet short on that one. And so I needed like 11 more stickers on that order to finish it. And so I had to wait for the vinyl to show up, but I'll, I'll already printed them i'll laminate them and cut them in the morning and then those will ship out tomorrow anyways um 
it always sucks when you have to be delayed when you run out of material so it's nice to always just order enough and keep it in stock but sometimes it's not feasible um so i gotta do what i gotta do anyways uh everything else has been going good but anyway sometimes i have trouble figuring out what i want the content of the videos to be so if y'all have ideas continue to send me information you know just ideas uh, in the comments or emails or whatever someone had asked me questions about maintenance on the roland bn20a so next video i do i think i'm going to talk about the maintenance on that machine it might not you know the video might not end up the way y'all expect you know my take on the uh, you know uh, maintenance might be different from other people's that you see out there so stay tuned for that um kind of don't want to spoil it or anything but it's not under warranty anymore so I kind of didn't want to talk about everything until, you know, about how I was doing the maintenance and everything until after it was out of warranty. So stay tuned for that video to see, you know, what I'm doing for maintenance or what I'm not doing for maintenance and see how that's working out for me. And uh, anyway, so yeah, if y'all have any other ideas, just let me know, you know, other than that, just thanks for watching me. Please like, share, subscribe, and, you know, thanks for all the support, guys. Peace.